in the book of second no first john chapter 5 verses 13 21 to online words of people through mp3 or youtube channel on the earth we'd like to suggest three questions number one in verse 14 now this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will he hears us what does it mean and how can we apply it to our life question two in verses 17 all unrighteousness is a sin and there is a sin not leading to death what does it mean and what are the sin not leading to death and the sin leading to death in this syntax question three in verse 20 and we know that the son of god has come and has given us an understanding that we may know him who is true and we are in him who is true in his son jesus christ this is the true god and eternal life what does it mean and how can we practice it to our life in the last time we see first john chapter 5 verses 10 to 12 he who believes in the son of god has the witness in himself he who does not believe god has made him a liar because he has not believed the testimony that god has given of his son whoever believes in jesus the son of god has the indwelling spirit the witness in himself the witness sees that jesus is a promised messiah and the son of god can be people god the father miraculous works and god the spirit non-christians make god a liar the record or testimony that god has given of his son verse 11 and this is the testimony that god has given us eternal life and this life is in his son the testimony or record in the bible that god has given us eternal life and this life in his in his son verse 12 he who has the son had the life he who does not have the son of god does not have life there is the life only in the son of god no others also we see first john chapter 5 verse 7 for they are three that bear witness in heaven the father the word and the holy spirit and these are three are one god is three persons in one god they are god the father and the word became flesh who is god the son and god the spirit this is called as trinity god each of them is a co-equal co-existent and co-eternal in today's text the greek word of no k-n-o-w in this context three greek words come out number one gnosko gnosko greek word means to know by study by study number two oida to know instinctively to know instinctively number three eide surely or certainly no oida plus experience on life john chapter 3 verses 5 and 6 jesus answered most assuredly i say to you 
Cornelius, unless one is born of water and the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Here, water is the washing of water by the word. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 26. That is to confess or repent our sins by faith. Number six, that which is born of the flesh is a flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is a spirit. A baby who is born of a flesh knows instinctively his or her parents. Likewise, a Christian who is born of God the Spirit knows instinctively God. Verse 13, These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, believe or face hearing by God's word rooted into Jesus, John chapter 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Jesus, the Son of God, the promised Christ or Messiah, John chapter 20, verses 30 and 31. And truly Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples which are not written in this book, but these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ or the Messiah, the Son of God, and that believing you may have a life in his name. Then here, that you may know, here know, either, in other words, surely, or certainly know, you know, you may know, that you have eternal life. Surely, or certainly know that you have eternal life because of your birth of God the Spirit and experience on life. So, and that you may continue here progressive to believe in the name of the Son of God. Continue, not just the position of salvation, but also progressive salvation which is called as also sanctification. Philippians chapter 2, verse 12. Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, disciples' physical presence only, but now much more in my absence, even disciple is not there, work out your own salvation. That one, progressive salvation or sanctification with fear and trembling. Here, continue to believe in the name of the Son of God. Verse 14. Now this is the confidence, not from self flesh, but from God the Spirit. God the Spirit. Confidence that we have in Him. We are the communion in Him. We have an intimate relationship with Him. God the Spirit is in us, and we are in Him. But many Christians are not in Him. First John chapter 1 verse 3, That which we have seen and heard we declare to you, that you also may have a fellowship with us, fellowship not with a communion, one union, or together how, and truly our fellowship is with the Father, God the Father, and with His Son, Jesus Christ. So all together one union. That you are in Christ, all of them, brothers and sisters, regardless of any sin thing, any appearance in Christ. One union. So, 
if we ask anything, anything, not only really everything, according to his will, not according to our flesh will, according to his will, he hears us. According to our flesh will, God does not hear us. Simply disregard it, uh, our prayer. Matthew chapter 26, 39, Jesus' example to show us. He went, Jesus went a little farther and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O oh my Father, if it is possible, let this cup, another this crucifixion, cross, pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. Also, John chapter 6, verse 37 up to 39. All that the Father gives me will come to me. That the one who comes to me, I will by no means cast out. For I have come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. This is the will of the Father who sent me, that of all he has given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up at the last day. Also, Matthew chapter 6, verse 10, Lord's Prayer, Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth, not my will. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So many Christians are difficult to be in God. Although God the Spirit are in every creature. Verse 15. And if we know that He hears us, He will know Oida, knows instinctively because of our birth over God the Spirit. Whatever we ask, we know, He will know Oida again. Instinctively know, because our birth of God the Spirit, that we have the petitions that we have asked of Him. So, heard by God. Verse 16. If anyone sees his brother sinning a sin which does not lead to death, so pardonable sin, he will ask, the seer will ask God in intercession prayer for the sinner who might confess or repent. And he will give him life for those who commit the sin not leading to death, pardon the sin, forgive his sin and cleanse him all unrighteousness. First John chapter 1 verse 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Then is a sin leading to death, unpardoned sin, such as Jesus show up to over them, one is blessed for me against the spirit. Number two, unbelief of Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior during given lifetime. Matthew chapter 12, verses 31, 32. Therefore I say to you, every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven, man, but the blasphemy against the Spirit will not be forgiven, man, Anyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man, it will be forgiven him. But whoever speaks against the Holy Spirit, it will not be forgiven him, either in this age or in the age to come, in the future time as well. John chapter 16, verse 8 to 9. And when he had come, he will convict the world over sin and over righteousness and over judgment 
over sin because they do not believe in me. John chapter 3, verses 17 up to 19. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that the light has come into the world, and men love the darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. So if there is a sin leading to death, I do not say that he should pray about death, because out of control for us. Verse 17, all unrighteousness is a sin. Hamatia, the sin, Greek word hamatia, any shortage from God's righteousness is a sin. Hamatia, Greek word. Any missing from a target set up by God, that's a hamatia. Wash our body from the birth of water and the spirit, we need to wash our feet only daily. John chapter 13 verse 10. Jesus said to Peter, he who is bathed your body needs only to wash his feet, but is completely clean and you are clean and not all over you. So therefore, Christians need daily compassion or repentance because to wash off our feet, not our body. Our body already clean. We are born again Christian. We are deemed the righteousness because Jesus Christ's righteousness imputed upon us upon by faith alone. Verse 18, we know that whoever is born of God does not sin. Whoever is born of God the Spirit does not practice sin, not commit habitual sin. But he who has born of God keeps himself. He who has been born of God the Spirit keeps himself by the Spirit, not by the self of flesh. Romans chapter 8, verse 1. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. The wicked one does not touch him. The ruler of the world, Satan, does not possess him because he is possessed by God the Spirit. John chapter 14 verse 30. I will no longer talk much with you for the ruler of this world or the prince of this world is coming in the great tribulation and he has nothing in me, nothing in Jesus. We have belonged to Jesus. He could not possess us. Second Corinthians chapter 6 verse 16. And what agreement has the temple of God with idols? For you are the temple of a living God. As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk among them. I will be their God and they shall be my people. Verse 19. You, we know that we are of God. Here, no, Oida. We are born of God the Spirit. That's why right, of God. And the whole world lies under the sway of the wicked one. The world is possessed or polluted by Satan, 
the deceiver who was defeated but not destroyed yet by Jesus. Second, John chapter 1 verse 7. For many deceivers, the followers of Satan, have gone out into the world who do not confess Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. So all deceivers have Satan, the lure of the world. Verse 20. And we know that here, Oida, because we are born of God the Spirit, instantly we know that the Son of God has come on earth as a man coming in the flesh through Virgin Mary, has given us an understanding. So through God the Spirit, John chapter 14, verse 26, but the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. So Holy Spirit, necessity, understanding, that we may know, here no, Gnorski, not Oida, not Aida, Gnorski, know by studying. Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be ashamed, righteously dividing the word of the truth. Him, who is it we are in him, we may know him, who is it true. Jesus is the truth. John chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way, I am the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. We are in him who is true, in his Son, Jesus Christ. We are in God the Spirit, who is true, 1 John chapter 5, verse 6. This is he who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ, not only by water, the baptism and uh, crucifixion, but by water and blood, and it is the Spirit who bears witness because the Spirit is the truth. In his son, his, uh, uh, his son, Jesus Christ. So, and we are in his son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. Jesus is true God. Jesus is eternal life. Verse 21. Little children, keep your salvation from idols. Amen. Whatever you love more than the Lord, or are equal to the Lord, are deemed as idols. Do not love any others more than or are equal to the Lord. Exodus chapter 20 verse 5. You shall not bow down to idols, nor serve them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, visiting the inequity of the fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me. Matthew chapter 6 verse 24. No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will be loyal to the one and despise the the other, undivided loyalty. You cannot serve God and mammon. Mammon is an idol of money or gold. Let's see each question in brief. In verse 14, now this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears ours. What does it mean? 
So if we are, uh, first of all, God the Spirit lives in us. Next step, we are in God, in the God the Spirit, in God. So that's called union. So two or more people we call communion. So in the fellowship between me and the Lord Jesus Christ and the God the Father, so whatever you ask according to God's will, God will hear us. But not according to your own will, your flesh will, God does not hear. God disregard it. So we meditate the word of God. Also, uh, we uh, should see the totality of circumstances opened by the Lord and uh, uh, applicable to the word of God in the Bible. Then, uh, for God's glory alone, we should seek that. In that way, we can practice to our life. Question two in verse, verse uh, 17. All unrighteousness is a sin. There is a sin not leading to death. What does it mean? All unrighteousness, which meaning any mission point from the Bible, is a considered sin. There is a sin not leading to death, not leading to death except the sin leading to death. The sin leading to death or unpardoned sin too in the Bible. One is, Blessed for me against the Holy Spirit. Number two, unbelief on the Lord Jesus Christ as a Savior during his or her given life. So during life you have a still opportunity to confess your sin and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as a Savior. Question 3 in verse 20. And we know that the Son of God had come and had given us an understanding. Here, first of all, is Oida. We know instinctively because we are born again over the God the Spirit. So we know the Son of God had come, incarnated, uh, Jesus Christ as a man, had given us an understanding because the Holy Spirit may are, uh, make us understand all things which Jesus uh, teach that we may know him know his gnosky by studying without studying no, we do not know Jesus how much true or him who is true no lie no deceit at all and we are in him we are in Jesus Christ Jesus is true also in his son Jesus Christ so we are in his son because the spirit of Christ lives in us this is a true God and eternal life this is Jesus Christ Jesus is a true God and eternal life how can we practice it to our life that's why we need to study the Bible possible expository Bible study which meaning without skipping any verse, verse to verse, verse by verse, and then meditate, then it believe and practice uh, to being more like Jesus daily basis.